Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. This is Double Stops Part 4. And we are going to take these double stops and work them in a traditional 1-4-5 blues setting. And I really, really, really like this turnaround. And uh, it's something that I don't normally play a lot of. But in an acoustic-ish setting, it is absolutely perfect. So I wanted to show you that. And so I'm going to play a little bit. And then uh, we're going to pick out these double stops while I'm doing my playing. And we'll pick them out where they are. And then I'll show you how it gets done. So uh, let me just do a traditional 1-4-5 blues in open G. So it's G, D, G, 42... 34, 24. So. So isn't that like super fun? So what I like to do is bring fun into our playing. And, you know, I can play blues like this on this cigar box guitar literally all day. And this is really what I like to do. Uh, just to let you know, we got songbooks. Check out the links below. We are a 100% all donation channel. Thank you so much for all your support. Uh, heat's coming on in the mothership now, so our, uh, you know, we have to uh, spend more money on stuff like that. So thank you so much for your donations and support. It really, really helps us here to put out these lessons. So a traditional one, four, five. So let's go through this really fast, and then I'll show you. So um, it's a blues box, and if you're not familiar with blues boxes. Um, you know, you can see this stuff anywhere. You can find the blues box on any guitar site. You can find it on my website. I have a, uh, you know, beginner and intermediate cigar box guitar bundles for self-instruction. But, you know, basically it just goes like this. We're in open G. So open G, and we're going to go to C, which is on the fifth fret, and that's 555. Five, five. And we're going to go to the D, and that's on the seventh fret, 777. Seven, seven. So G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, 5, fifth fret, and there's a dot there, and 7, and there's a dot there. So that's all you need to worry about right now. So let's go through this. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, and one. One, two, three. So that's where this comes in. So if you go through it like that, and a blues box is basically a square with the one chord all the way up top in four boxes. So that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the next line down, it has uh, two, C, uh, two four chords, which is the C. You'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it goes back to the one chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it goes to the five chord, which is the D. 
one, two, three, four. Then it goes to the four chord, the C, one, two, three, four. And then we get the turnaround. And turnarounds are super fun. You can do them in many ways. But this is a lesson on double stops. So the double stop turnaround is nine, seven, eight, six, seven, five, five, four. And as you see over here, it's going to say X. Nine seven. The X is that low G string, and you're not going to play that. Double stops are two strings. That's why they call them double stops. I always called them dyad chords. That's just me. I learned it that way, and I'm trying to unlearn it. So if you see some of my lessons and it says dyad X two three or whatever, that's what is going on there. So you can play these anywhere you like within reason. So if you're in G, then you are X, nine, seven, X, eight, six, X, seven, five, X, five, four. If you were in A, you just bring everything up two frets. So you would be X, 11, 9, etc., etc. This just moves down. So if you're here, that's great. If you're on A, you would just, right? If you're on C or whatever, you just keep moving that up. It's a movable dyad or double stop. So, super, super fun as a uh, fun little trick. Something else you can do with this trick is you, when you're in open G, this X97 works really nicely, and then you can take this X97 and go X910. So watch what I mean. So what's happening is you're adding this 11. This 11, okay, happens to be an F. And if you made a G7, it would be 12, 12, 10. Sorry, it's not an 11, it's a 10. So what you're doing is taking this dyad and adding that seventh. So it's really fun. I like sliding into it, just, just sliding into it, this nice little groove. Yeah. You can do this again up here. Okay, so what are we doing? I am just moving this up. So if I'm on G, I go one, two, three, four, five. Cool. I take this X nine seven, and I'm just going to move it up five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now that dyad works on the C, and the seventh works its way too, because. That's a C7. This is just fun to play with. So this would be X1412 or X1415. It also works with the D, X1614 or X1617. So watch how I use these. Yeah.
so much fun playing with this and just working it and just just playing with it like a ball of dough and you're just going to keep working it and working it and working it and coming up with your own style of where you want to take this. You know, you're... play with it and play with it and play with it. I've been playing this for like three hours straight, just over and over and over and just working it and having fun with it. And I thought it would be really nice to do a volume four of double stops. And because this is part of playing guitar that, you know, I don't see any of it on online. And for for three string cigar box guitar, this is, this is the bee's knees here. This is so fun that once you get started doing it and start playing around with it and moving up and down the fretboard, you become a better player. And also you start finding your own path through the fretboard and through these double stops. So thank you so much for everything you do for us here. We really, really appreciate it. All your generous support makes this possible. Um, I couldn't be here without you. Thank you so much got books and uh, all kinds of good stuff. Check out my website and lots of links down below of the stuff that I use actually. Um, it's not like you need to buy the stuff. It just gives you an idea of what I use with live gigs and you know what I use for amps and all kinds of stuff. So thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really, really appreciate it. Have fun with Double Stops. Thank you.